we're doing an anime tournament. The best anime waifus of summer 2023. It's a little bit late. Summer's about to end and we're about to creep up into fall. But let's look back on the summer season and add up all the baddies and get down to one. The baddest out of 32. Let's get into it. Our first choice, Emilia and Hori. At the end of the day, let's keep it a stack. Let's keep it a buck. It's going to be a popularity contest. Now, if you had to power scale the grip. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. We all know Hori is going to win. It is what it is. Hori easily moves on. Now, here's the thing. With Soifan and then Sayori. Short-lived, but she bad. But the thing with Soifan, she's more popular, but her personality is mad annoying. And you don't got the gods like Sayori. So it's all up to you guys. Bro, got that haircut and cutting board is legendary combo. Hey, flat is you guys' taste. I ain't going to hold you. I want that Zambus. I'm not even bringing up the zombie version, Sayori. And y'all just want to shoehorn that in. Soifan, easy choice for a lot of you guys. Two Eminence of the Shadow characters. We got Delta and we got Alpha. One cat girl and the other one's uh, Elf girl. Both pretty bad in their own right. Seems like uh, Delta zooming in. Might got some abs right there. If you guys want to chime in and be like, hey, Hades, this girl has special powers that can do this. You know, that's why she's more of a smash. Go for it. Thinking about it, it's kind of hard choice. I can't lie. Cat girl's a minor. All right, we choose Elf girl. All right. Made that really easy for me. Wait, we're stuck at a standstill right now. I'll go ahead and vote and break the tie. One comment literally swayed a whole vote. All right, whatever. Alpha moves on. Like, if I had to choose one fight girl out of all anime, if flat is justice, that is symbol, it'll be Rukia. When I'm looking at Majo, I'm like, God, like you had the thighs and the cheeks showing and everything. For me personally, I'll go for one, but Rukia is obviously going to move on. So we got the priest girl, Shinkan from Goblin Slayer, and then we got Tsumi from Red and Girlfriend. Minor versus minor. Hey, pick your poison. As me, I am just the host. I'm going to sit out. I'll participate when I want to participate. No zeros. No zeros are allowed. Either one or two. Only one of them um, is a redeeming character. Tsumi, personality type, I'm assuming they're both submissive. I haven't got that far in Red and Girlfriend, and I don't think I ever will because I dropped the show. I, I don't really like the priest girl in uh, Goblin Slayer at all. But gun to head. If I had to choose, I'll probably choose priest girl. The priest girl is also moving on. Okay, so we have Claire from Eminence of the Shadow and then Lamis from the Vending Machine Isekai. Here's the thing though. When I look at Claire, she looks more mature. Like in story, she's probably in high school, right? Like in, in an academy. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, don't say okay and relax. But then you look at Lamis. She's, I think she's an adult. But she has the body of like an adult, but like the face of kind of like a teenager. She's giving me a little bit lowly vibes. Even better. What are we talking about here, bro? Me personally, I'll vote Claire. She looks more badass. Love the long hair. Love the red eyes. I'm Lamis here. Yeah, she, she got the gods and all, but like the face is just a little bit off putting. If you guys only focus about the god, chop off the head and you just have fun. You know what I mean? Okay, well, that's a little. Like, metaphorically, just remove the image of the head. He's a necrophilic. I'm not. No, that's not what I'm trying whatever bro silphy or akiko and yosana when you think about it some of you guys financial secure you got both loving parents you stay connected with your siblings you know you have a fulfilling job and you just want just a goth girl mommy to come in your life and just ruin everything that you have I feel like yosana could be that one all right let's see who the next one is aki aragaki i think she's from uh something revenge but it's like against a bleach character every single bleach character is gonna sweep yeah bambietta i mean hey she can split me fucking half i don't care bro it's easy round quite literally every single bleach character moved on from their respective rounds we have lucy from bungo stray dog season five and then we have saimori from uh, my happy marriage i think more people are going to be attached to saimori because that's like the shoujo of the season i'm not a big fan of her personality yeah she's cute for me like is she gonna go up against a bleach character and topple them probably not anyone keeping up with bungo stray dogs like does lucy have any crazy mystical powers where she can do like crazy tricks on it she can teleport you inside her mind but me what can that do for you keep moving on saimori wins okay uh, I'm probably gonna butcher this name, but Link Out or Mommy. Even though I've not been keeping up with a uh, rent girlfriend, I'm looking at Mommy, I'm like, yeah, why is she dressing up all nice like that? Do I need to pick up the series again? One time for the one time, I'll vote for a rent girlfriend character. Nah, she's scum. Yeah, her personality's trap. Okay. But if we're talking about Smash, who cares about personality? You know what I mean? It, okay, has there been a scene where she's doing it with the MC or anybody else and it shows her personality in the bedroom? If not, then I'm just gonna head cannon that shit and just be like, whatever. Well, Magic says not yet. If there hasn't been a one in canon yet, I'm just gonna head cannon. Yeah, like, I'll take a risk. It's not even like a big crazy risk. I'm gonna go with mom. Yet. No, not the two JJK characters going ahead. Okay, even if um, Yuta Hime surviving the first round, she's not surviving against Mei Mei, bro. Yuta Hime, bad in her own right. Mei Mei, she's bad in every right. But but Mei Mei obviously gonna sweep. Out of all the characters so far, I'm thinking Mei Mei probably has the possibility to take down at least two Bleach characters, but I don't know. We'll see. Mei Mei moves on. Okay, so we have Beatrix from Zom 100, or we have Kamiya from Rowan and Kenshin. I mean, it's just pretty simple. Hey, you gotta love your snow bunnies, bruh. Lons ain't pretty mean, not gonna lie. Okay, remove the head, metaphorically in your mind, okay? And then look down a bit. Maybe you'll change your mind. I feel like you're focused on the wrong things. Dye her hair. I feel like we don't need to do all that, what she got. Those things. Yeah, Beatrix moves on. <laughs> 
Alina versus Shoko. And uh, everyone likes the elf girl in Mashoku. Me, personally, I prefer Shoko present time, which is like when she's a autopsy doctor, right? Even though she's like smoking and she got bags on her eyes, I still prefer that because pre-time skip of Shoko, she's just basically a copycat of like Nobra's design. Teen form over. Okay, bro. And she probably got herpes or gonorrhea. At that point, you're headcanning. She probably doesn't. There's a possibility, but there's nothing that confirms yet. Look, everyone wants the Nympho Elf. Like, you're, you're not gonna stop them from voting the Nympho Elf. Like, everyone who watched Mashoku, they see how she acts. She's just, she's all up in there. Some of you guys, you know, you want that. She's also into gangbangs. That ain't stopping a lot of you guys. Motherfuckers be here, but like, I'll be part of the gang. Personally, uh, I'll spawn Camp Shoko. How about that? But yeah, everyone's voting, Elena. So we got Mikazuki, or we have Cow Milk. And you're like, wait, wait, Hades, what? This is Masume. No, she's nicknamed Cow Milk, because why? I think you would know why. Me, Mikazuki, I just like her more, bruh. Yeah, she doesn't have the gods like Cow Milk over here, but I just like her attitude. Rational, quick to the point, blunt. Hey, she's athletic as well, doing tricks on it. I'm going with the Zom 100 girl. We all like our gym girls, bro. Gotta respect that. Kind of unfair matchup, Chizuru versus I. Not the I from Oshino Co. It comes down to a popularity contest at this point. Chizuru is just the real answer. Unless you're lowly god and you choose I, but hey, go for Chizuru. All right, so we got Sara from Mashoku Tensei, and we got Bruhil. Which one y'all choose? Bruhil, I'm going Bruhil, bro. Yeah, Bruhil, a little bit psycho sometimes, but you know, you need a little crazy in your life sometimes. Bruhil, underrated, low key, we might have to pull up the doji. It seems like Bru Hill. Moving on. Now we are in round two of 16. In total, 16 characters facing off each other. All right. Mio or Claire. I don't know that much about Claire, but if we're talking about just the aesthetics, I might go for Claire. But it's understandable why you guys like Zymori. God damn. Wait, I did not expect you guys to vote. All right, that was a fucking sweep. I just looked over and I, I literally thought I was going to be more contentious, but I, it is what it is. So we have Hori or Ruki. Ru yeah. Which characters? Skip the line. Go through the front. Go to top four already, man. Look, we got to compare them on just the basic aesthetic level. Like, Rukia does have special powers, but her powers is like sub-zero ice attacks. What are you going to do with that? And, you know, Rukia is just way more popular. Or basic as fuck. You said it, not me. <laughs> Rukia moves on. We got Bruhild versus Beatrix. Maybe a little bit unfair for Beatrix because we don't really know her personality yet, at least in this point, because Zom 100 got delayed so many times. I feel like you guys are probably going to choose Beatrix. Maybe because she has the two bonuses that comes with her. Bruhild, maybe you guys aren't the biggest fan of that art style anyways, or you haven't watched Ragnarok. I read the manga Smash. All right, I'm gonna trust the word of manga reader. I'm gonna go with Smash on Beatrice as well. No, the two Bleach characters. I mean, fine. Bleach characters, they're way too OP. They need to go head in head with each other and take each other out. So I find probably more popular as a character, but Bambieta, probably the more fan favorite if we're talking about the more smashable sense. So I'm thinking Bambieta. I do like Soifan and her fucking kind of like tomboy personality but bambiera just got him like that for me it just makes sense hey but still pretty close vote though so i thought gonna have to drop out of this one all right oh priest girl versus elf girl don't let the lowly condos win actually i don't know i don't know if the priest girl is a lowly would you consider a lowly maybe i don't know me personally i'll just go for alpha because hey, she's a baddie elf damn this is kind of hard um okay it's kind of murder scoff mommy or do we have mommy both their personality i'm probably getting trash so we just got to subtract that from my head and one will got more grip mommy and the elf is crazy bro i can't lie this is the mommy upset that i never expected expected like i literally thought all red girlfriend characters were just gonna get thrown out into the gutter so quick but it, it might be a mommy angle for me I, I i can't lie oh yeah mommy's taking the vote my personal two favorites going out this round may may i don't care maybe she can make me go bankrupt scam me bro i'll buy her fucking coin i don't give a shit i'll get scammed by her and may may sweeping bro she is the gladiator to take down these bleach characters yeah she lives in the jujutsu sorcerer world but she has like crows like spy crows which can you really do with those and please do not say you just bring in the crows like that's not what we're doing so yeah it's just all aesthetics at this point may may moving on shizuru or elena i just don't like elena nympho mac fucking personality I, it's just too much it's just too coming forth it's like you want someone dominant and someone who knows what they want but also a little bit submissive and she's just all up in you i can't believe i'm actually like voting like running girlfriend characters right now bro I, i'd rather go for shizuru i'm actually surprised that you guys kind of agree because i thought it was going to be a full sweep for elena shizuru moves on okay now we are in round three the top eight characters so battle of the blondies me elf girls are nice but when beatrix got the guts like that i'm just sorry I'm, it's hard to not stay focused i was a dominant vv i don't need all that beatrix 
There's like two good reasons why I should vote for her. And if you don't see him, I don't know. Maybe you're watching with your eyes closed. But Alpha is going to be moving on. Evidence of the Shadow character, Claire, or we got Rukia. It's probably going to be a sweep. Both characters look flat, even though I like Claire's design and all. So Rukia is going to get my vote for this round. If Rukia's in there, can her sword join in? Sure. I'm not going to stop you. Yeah, Rukia is just an easy sweep for Rukia. Fan favorite baddies. Bambiera or Mei Mei? This is hard. And I'm hard. Okay, let me think about it. With Bambiera, she's just kind of murderous. At this point, we might have to pull up fanfic to come up with a conclusion. I don't fucking know, bro. Like, this is too much headcanon to think about. Mei Mei's rich. Yeah, she's rich. So, like, if you don't pull out, you got a kid and, you know, she has to pay your child support. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm busting in Mei Mei. Bambiera bust here? 100%. That's objective fact. I just think Mei Mei is just, I don't know. Something's about Mei Mei is just that attitude of her, how she moved in that first episode of season two JSK. I'm just like, ooh. But it seems like Bambiera probably gonna take the vote over Mei Mei. Oh my god. The luck of the draw. Oh, this is the waifu wars for the red girlfriend fans. Just based off principle, I do not like mommy. I do not care. Her personality stunks. Chizuru, I'm team Chizuru all the way. Close vote. Chizuru is gonna wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. I, I voted. There we go. All right, Chizuru moves on. Second to last round. Top four. Now, for me, it just makes sense. Bambiera. I mean, I was just kind of talking trash low key on Bambiera, but when she got them gats, you don't have to think too much about it. Chizuru, she's probably all nice and all, you know what I mean? In the manga and in, in the anime, but we're talking about smashing it. Bambiera, she he can just make it jiggle and make it clap with ease. One is cuter, two is harder. Agree with that statement perfectly. Bamiata, moving on. Ah, oh, these Bleach characters, man, hey. They just built different. Speaking of Bleach characters, we got Alpha and then we got Rukia. Yeah, Rukia sweeping. Rukia just got grip like that. She's lightweight. You can pick her up, toss her around, pin her up against a wall, and do tricks on it. She's losing? Wait, how is she losing to an elf girl? This is the craziest upset I have seen. I'm not going to vote. I'm going to hold off my vote. One vote away. What? Okay, what if I vote? It's tied now, right? I vote two. How is this elf girl from Evidence of the Shadow putting up a fight with Rukia right now? Two more votes for Alpha? We must got bleach haters in here or something, bro. All right, we're closing off the vote. Alpha moves on. The final round, it could have been two bleach characters, but now we have Alpha from Evidence of the Shadow and Bambietta, who is now the new crown best baddie of bleach is going against. Who's winning, guys? For me, Bambietta, it just makes sense. Dang. One or two guys. One for the left, two for the right. Vor okay, people who are voting one. Aside her being an elf girl, blonde, skinny, dominant, everything we know. What is some additional powers that she has that can put her over Bambietta? Because Bambietta, her powers is just explosive beams. She has dark slime powers that bend and transform. So you're saying it's an easy slip in, easy slip out. But like, counterpoint, Bambietta's got. I rest my case. She can add assets. When you say she can add assets, are you saying she can grow portions of her body and add more meat and fat to it yes 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 my vote is gonna have to change but the thing is it doesn't even matter even i voted 10 times five times if i committed egregious voter fraud bambietta the baddest waifu of summer 2023 Yes, sir. Bam, Yeta won. I appreciate you guys tuning in as always. Thank you for the YouTube frogs. Thank you for Twitch frogs for participating. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good, Johnson. Peace out, YouTube.